From the anchor desk to the front lines of disaster, NBC Nightly News anchor Lester Holt is dedicated to telling the stories of viewers across America. But with a growing family and a love for music, that's just a part of this award-winning journalist story. And tonight you'll see him anchoring Nightly News from right here in Houston. But in the meantime, Lester has made time for us here at Houston Life. Hi, guys. Hi. Welcome to the show. So tell us about this Across America tour you're doing. We started it um, after the election as kind of a way to feel the pulse of the country after you know, a very divisive election. And then we... we it, it was very successful and it allowed us to go out and kind of hear stories and you know what what people are talking about in various hometowns across America so we did it again last spring and now we're back on the road the idea five cities in five nights um, it's not easy picking the cities, so we try to find places that you know have fascinating stories that may resonate across the rest of the country um, you know one of the reasons we, we wanted to come back to Houston is you know we were here um, a year ago yes. covering Harvey and we wanted to reconnect with some of the people we met then who were, you know, in, in dire straits. And fortunately, we've we reconnected with some that are doing a lot better. They're back in their homes now. But that's a, you know, you don't recover from, you know, that kind of flooding, a hurricane like that overnight. So it's a long process. We're such a resilient city. And I think it's so great that uh, Nightly News, yourself, want to come and shine a spotlight basically on Houston that's usually when we see you you know as disasters yeah. kind of stories but you've kind of gotten into the city I mean hello Tex-Mex right Tex well I, I'm all about Mexican yes. I, mean, I grew up in California where Mexican food is, is very popular but there's something about Tex-Mex that kind of sets it apart totally different uh, um, yeah so we uh, <laughs> I think I've had nothing but Mexican food since I've been here, that's okay. That is okay. That's a good thing. Lester, you have, your voice is so familiar. I mean, obviously every night when people are letting you into their homes, in their living rooms, we see this side of you all the time. But behind the scenes, I think sometimes people forget that you have a family, you have things you do. Sure. So you have a wife and you have two sons. Yeah, a I, uh, yeah, a dog. Uh, yeah, my sons are 31 and 28. My oldest actually works uh, for NBC. He's right. an anchor. anchor. Anchor of the local station there, so I actually see him in the hallway. There's a family <laughs> photo. Oh, there's a family photo. Okay, and that's... Yes, and so your that's, grandson. So that's Stefan on the right. He's the one on TV. The one in the middle is uh, Cameron, and he works in finance in New York, and that's my grandson, Henry. Aww. How awesome is that? Well, Henry just turned uh, one uh, in September. That's a different role as a grandson father right it is and a parent it is i mean i'm i'm planning on when he's a little older planning all these things we can get into that are gonna you know usually start with don't tell your parents right <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's my plan he's about two years away from that but <laughs> and was it true that growing up your dream was to be a dj yeah i you know i had an older brother um who started in broadcasting he ended up being an airline pilot but he got me inter interested in broadcasting and i really wanted to be a dj and so in high school, I actually got a job at a, uh, it was a country and western station in Sacramento, mm. uh, working midnight to six on Saturday oh, and Sunday. That's Sundays. a good shift. It's a great shift. <laughs> you know, it was, it was, well, it was a big station. It was a 50,000 watt station. You could hear it all over Northern California. And uh, a lot of the truckers would listen. And so we called it the all night trucking show. I love it. I, but you have such a passion for music as well, right? I do. I mean, I love all kinds of music and I, I'm a musician. I play the bass. The, upright you know i do jazz but uh, lately i'm doing a lot of rock and roll that's a a picture from rehearsing with my band uh, the rough cuts which is a band consisting of all nbc people i think that is so awesome where you tour right i mean we're well we I, I don't know if tour is probably a, a stretch but we have played out of town before <laughs> uh, but we uh we kind of have a uh, there's a actually it's a, a kind of a texas roadhouse restaurant called hill country in New York and they've got a, a, a great music venue and we play there from time to time we're gonna play again in December and we we played a gig in Washington several months ago I'm just impressed by the schedule because like this week you mentioned you're in a different city every single day when do you find time yeah. to rehearse with the band? it's not easy um, <laughs> because when we agree to do a gig there's a clause that basically says if there's breaking news by the way we won't be there right uh, it's not easy there's a uh, in New York, you can rent out these kind of rehearsal spaces, and there's one about two blocks from 30 Rock. So um, most of the band members are Dateline editors, thus the rough cuts. And uh, we'll, we'll kind of sneak out of the building for an hour and a half and go over to this rehearsal space. And, you know, if they need us back, you know, we're 
five minutes away. That is so awesome. Do you have a favorite song that you like to jam to? Oh, my goodness. Well, I like anything Earth, Wind & Fire. Yeah. That's, uh, that's my that's good. soundtrack of my life. I got to play with them once during, during one of their sound checks. I was doing a story on them, and, and it took weeks for me to wipe the grin off my face. I bet. It was awesome. What a great story. Super cool. Okay, so we do something that we like to call rapid fire here at Houston Life, where we have some very easy this or that questions Boxers. for you. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm, oh. I'm ahead of you already. Well, that's answer. <laughs> we can cross that one off the list. Okay, well, that's good to know. Very okay, nice. you ready? Okay, they're, they're not that hard. Okay, we're going to start with music stuff. Okay, Rolling Stones or Beatles? Uh, Rolling Stones. Astros or Cubs? Uh, Astros. Oh, nice. Good, good answer. answer. Fender or Gibson? Fender. Beer? I have Gibsons, but Fender. Okay, beer or wine? Uh, beer. Favorite musician? Uh, well, Earth, Wind & Fire. Okay. There you go. Last song that you downloaded? Uh, it was uh, Jose James. It was a whole album, Lean On Me. Okay. Yeah, it's good. Download yeah. it. Dream lunch date? Dream lunch date. Um, Derek and Courtney? Uh, <laughs> Too late. <laughs> Oh, uh, wow. I, you know, would it be a stretch to say the Pope? No. Because I think that would be really fast. It Something tells me you could easily make that happen if you wanted to. Favorite emoji? Uh, I just, I just like the little, the one that winks. Oh, I use that because one too. Because I, because I'm, that's kind of the way I talk, like, and I wink. Yeah. I like that. Okay, last Google search? Last Google search uh, was the, trying to find out the 49ers score yesterday. Okay. From a Northern Californian. Okay. And last, your go-to breakfast? Go-to breakfast is uh, Cheerios. Uh, neither black or blueberries. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay, get this lot about Cheerios you. with blueberries. <laughs> Lester, thank you so much for stopping by. It's so great being with you guys. We great appreciate to see it. You. Next time you come, you got a jam. You, you got a spot for you music. You play? Uh, I mean, no. You oh. play, you no. sing, no. trumpet. Trumpet, piano. We that's... need, actually, we need a trumpet in the band. I'm serious, we do. There's, there's some song that we're being held back by our lack of a trumpet. Well, wait until you hear me play, Lester, because okay. you may reserve that invitation <laughs> okay. until afterward. Backup dancer in case there was any questions. Awesome. <laughs> and a reminder that NBC's Nightly News with Lester Holt kicks off the Across America Tour tonight at 5.30, right after KPRC Channel 2 News at 5. Lester, thanks again. Of course.